Hey guys, this is Chetan Pakaj Madayans and this is the quick uh, PUBG Mobile gameplay on the ROG Phone 5. The ROG Phone 5 is launched with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 quite a long wait before the first sale of this phone is going to happen. And uh, while this video is uh, live, the phone is still not on sale. But anyways, if we talk about the game, uh, gameplay, I've tried games like Genshin Impact, uh, PUBG Mobile, COD Mobile and uh, the Rocket League uh, uh, Sides 5 and some of the other smaller games as well to take a complete overview of uh, how much frame rates is possible with the smaller games that offer 144 uh, FPS support that is also well maintained by the smartphone but on PUBG Mobile by default Snapdragon 888 could offer only smooth and extreme or HDR extreme that's 60 FPS you cannot go to 90 FPS unless you use one of those tricks to change the configuration file and even with that the performance has been good. The only issue that I had was with the heating of the device because the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 and its GPU tend to heat up more than the previous generation of it. That, uh, that's the 865 plus. On the ROG Phone 3 the heating was not as much as what we saw on the ROG Phone 5. Otherwise the changes or whatever the improvements are they are obviously better. The air triggers have become better. The other features the macros and they remain the same. The macros and the other smaller features they aren't changed much but the air triggers functionality the movement of it has changed the uh, the response of the air triggers has also improved a bit and one of the new inclusion in this smartphone is the headphone jack so you have a headphone jack now even though that wasn't an issue but asus has now made sure that you don't have the headache about not having a headphone jack at all so it is they have it offered here and there are two ports as usual so there won't be any issue for streamers who want to transfer the data as well as the audio that can be done very easily now Check out the quick gameplay here. You'll see how good the uh, frame rates are maintained at 60 FPS. We haven't done 90 FPS because that is not offered by default. So on 60 FPS, it did pretty well on not just the TDM, but also when we do the best of the games on Sanok Bootcamp. I mean, Sanok Bootcamp is where we do the uh, performance judgment because that's where most of the people land. And at one point, you see frame drops happening. In the smartphone, there were some frame drops, very minimal frame drops when the uh, players were landing. But after that, it was quite smooth and the fights were taken pretty easily. So this was a quick overview of what is offered in the smartphone. Now check out the gameplay that we did on the smartphone. Watch out! Fall back to the safe zone. Mark the location. No mercy! Reloading! Dead! 
Cover me! Expired! Reloading! Target down! Cover me! <laughs> Thank you. Expired. No mercy. Reloading. You're about to win! The red team doesn't have a lot of time left! Wait, come on, Indeed, lover, lol. <laughs> no mercy, cover me. Killing team spree victory. for the blue nice team. Day. Nice day. Nice day. <laughs> are, are, are. बुलेट ही नहीं लग रहा है आरा जो आराम से उसको बुलेट नहीं लग रहा दो बंदे हैं दो बंदे हैं नीचे को दा आई Watch out! Sam, 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 Finish, finish. Oh wow. Sam, 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 Are you open? Finish. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So that's it guys, apart from the heating issue, we haven't seen anything else uh, as an issue, but uh, the heating also I guess might not be uh, controlled because Snapdragon 888 has been the same on every smartphone that it has come in. Uh, the Xiaomi Mi 11, uh, then also the Realme GT. It's not about the phone's fault, it's about the chipset and the GPU being heated up so much that even the cooling systems are not able to control it. Uh, but that isn't resulting in any uh, compromise in the performance. So it should not be an issue, but it is going to be an issue in terms of experience that people get when they're playing games for long hours. So that's it guys, I hope you like this video. If you do share and subscribe to Gizmodan for more. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.